back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat. So I'm here today to do part four of my anticipated releases for 2018. Of course, I will do another update later in the year when more titles have been released. But with that said, these are all the books that I'm currently excited about from August onwards. I have already done videos for the rest of the year. So if you want to check that out, I've done a part one, two and three. And I will link all of those down below. Go and watch them. But this will be August onwards. So, first book on my list is Ball Lightning by Sixin Liu. This comes out on the 2nd of August in the UK, and Sixin Liu is the author of the Three Body Problem trilogy, which is a trilogy that loads of people loved. This author is definitely one who is really revolutionising the kind of translation of Chinese science fiction and fantasy over into English. I'm really excited about that. So I want to support this. Apparently this focuses on a man whose parents are killed by the ball lightning phenomenon which strikes them and it's a mysterious natural phenomenon in the world that he lives in so he dedicates his life to trying to find out why and how it works. His adventures take him through a military lab an old Soviet science station and up to the top of mountains. But the more he learns, the more he realises that ball lightning is not an entirely new frontier in particle physics. It sounds like it's going to be a really interesting look at physics, and I do think that Sixin Liu has a way of doing hard science fiction in a readable way. So I'm excited to give this a try. I do hope that it's someone good at translating it. I'm not exactly certain who is going to be the translator, but hopefully it's someone good and I really look forward to seeing where this story goes. I think it's a standalone. Up next I have The Dragon Lords, the final book in the trilogy, and this one is one I've been super excited about. I read the first two last year and I adored them both. I thought they were fantastic humorous reads and I cannot wait to see what happens in the final one because it was left on a huge cliffhanger that no doubt will lead to great great things. Next up on my list is a sequel to a book I've not read yet, which I don't usually do, but it is a book I'm planning to read this year, so I'm hoping that I will then want the sequel. And that is the sequel to Black Wolves by Kate Elliott. This is Dead Empire. I really couldn't tell you what this is about, not having read the first, except for the first one is described as a big, gritty, fun, epic fantasy with loads of women. And that sounds really up my street, so I should definitely get a move on, read the first one, and then get the second. It sounds like it's going to be good fun, and I really do want to try Kate Elliott's work this year. On the 6th of September, I have a sequel to a book I read last year, and this is Empire of Grass, which is by Tad Williams. It is the sequel to The Witchwood Crown by him, which is set in the Austinard world, but it's set 30 years after the first trilogy. And I'm really excited about this because I loved The Witchwood Crown. I thought it was a great book and it was certainly a really, really solid start to a series and a very good continuation of the world and the characters. It had a lot more elements that I enjoy. It was faster paced and it generally felt a lot more polished than the first series, which is great. Tad Williams is firmly one of my favourite authors now and I'm very much looking forward to seeing where the series goes in book two. On the 13th of September, Claire North has a new book coming out which is called 84K. This is set in a world where any crime is able to be paid off as long as you have the money. We follow a young man called Theo who is working in the office where he gets different people's crimes through on paper and he has to decide how much these people have to pay back to society in order for their crime to be cleared. So that is what he does in his day job but one day Theo's ex-lover Danny has been murdered and Theo ends up with Danny's murderer coming through on a sheet of paper in order to pay off the crime. However, this is not a crime that he thinks he can let slide and therefore he just kind of ends up getting involved in whatever's gonna happen to this murderer. I don't really know much more than that, but it sounds good. It's Claire North, who I love, and I can't wait to check out more of her work particularly this one. Next on my list is a November release and this is the only November release I have. It's by Brandon Sanderson and it's called Skyward. I believe that Sanderson himself described it as a mashup between How to Train Your Dragon and Ender's Game and Top Gun, which sounds like a pretty interesting mix of things. We follow a young girl who is part of the human race and she is living in a time where humans are constantly being attacked by some sort of alien starfighters. She wants to be a pilot more than anything and one day she comes across a ship that she 
might be able to fix and achieve her dream with, so she tries her best to do this, learns how to pilot, and has to convince the ship to work with her because for some reason this ship seems to have some sort of a soul. That's all I really know about it, that's all the synopsis says right now. It's quite a new announcement that he's going to be releasing this as he pulled one of his other books in order to release this one in 2018, it's all a bit confusing, but I'm intrigued. I think it's going to be a YA and I'm looking forward to giving a science fiction YA by Sanderson a go because I really liked his um, Reckoner series, so I'm hopeful that this will be a similar style but different. Next up I have a couple of books that I really want to read but they don't necessarily have exact release dates yet. I've been told they should probably come out in 2018 but I'm assuming it will be in the later half of 2018 therefore they have not been announced yet. So I'm going to just run through those fairly quickly. The Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I absolutely adored Strange the Dreamer. It was fantastic and completely blew me away. So I really really want to find out what's going to happen next. It was left on a pretty huge cliffhanger so I need the next one. Also on my list is The Burning White by Brent Weeks which will be the final book in his Lightbringer series and it was meant to come out last year but he then decided he needed to split the final book into two books so one book came out last year and another one hopefully will be coming out in 2018 sometime. Obviously I can't tell you too much about this but I have reviewed all the previous Lightbringer books so if you want to know more you can watch my reviews but I'm really damn excited because he's one of my favourite authors of the time and definitely an author who is doing some cool stuff right now in fantasy. My most anticipated release of the year, 2018, if it happens, is Dandelion Dynasty Book 3, but this one doesn't even have a title yet, so I can't necessarily say if it will come out. It's by Ken Liu, it's the third book, and I think the final book in the series, and I adored the first and second. The second is my favourite book of the year, 2017, and yeah, I mean, I just, I loved it. So hopefully this will come out in 2018 but I am willing to wait because perfection takes time. Speaking of perfection, another book that I'm super eager to get my hands on is book three in the Broken Stone Chronicle, which also does not have a title yet. This is by Damien Black and it's a self-published series of which I've read the first two and absolutely adored both of them. I really really want to see what happens next. I think this is going to be a five or six book series so it's got quite a few to go but my goodness every installment so far has delivered and I really hope he continues to do so with the later books in the series too. So yeah cannot wait for that. Another book that I am kind of quite interested in is Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James who is I thought a literary fiction writer but apparently he's writing a fantasy one now and it sounds really good. I heard about this on Thomas's channel whose channel is SFF180 so I'll link that below and the author apparently described this as an African Game of Thrones. So to be honest that's all I needed to hear, I didn't need to hear anything else. I've also heard that this author is very good at literary stuff so hopefully he can pull it off in fantasy too. And the final one I have on my list for now is a third book in a series which I hope comes out 2018 because I think it's the final one in that series and that is The Dragon's Blade The Last Guardian. This is by Michael R. Miller and I've read the first two and really enjoyed them. It's a self-published series with absolutely beautiful covers and the concept of the story is that there is a dragon who is reborn as a human who can still transform into dragons and stuff like that. He has an amazing blade which can allow him to do all sorts of things and kind of the story goes on from there. It does have traditional classic um, fairies and things like that in the story but it does some cool stuff with these and I have reviewed the first two if you want to go check out my reviews for those. That is everything. So I'm sure there will be more that comes up. I would love to hear if I've missed anything from those months I just listed. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you're excited about from this list. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you for watching my video today Go pick up a book Then come back and chat with me again